Stitch and Lindy. I feel like I haven't done a recipe in a long time. Um, today, I've actually been talking about this for quite a while that I was going to do this recipe, but I am making a cheesecake. So this is actually from the Pound Droppers um, website. If you haven't checked out pounddroppers.com, they have amazing recipes for so many different things. Um, they're WW friendly. They list all the points. She has some really great recipes on there. So, um, I wanted to do the cheesecake because this is, there's so many cheesecake recipes that I find going around on the app, on the WW app. And I'm a cheesecake lover. It is my weakness. And none of them have satisfied my cheesecake cravings. So, this is probably the closest I have come to feeling like I'm actually eating a real cheesecake. So I wanted to share this recipe. So the first thing I'm gonna say is you should have a springform pan. This is a nine inch. If you do have smaller, you will just get a thicker slice. This is the smallest springform pan that I have, um, which it makes a good size and it's a, it's a thinner slice. So I don't mind it. Um, but if you do have an eight inch or even a six inch, you can get a thicker, a thicker slice of cheesecake so depending on how thick of a slice you want to get but you can get 8 or 16 out of this recipe and I'll tell you the points wise after I'm done the recipe but um, let me pull you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing all right So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add, it's three eggs that you wanna add. If anybody's tried this recipe, let me know what you think. And this is just a plain cheesecake. If you wanted to add any fruit, um, any other flavorings, you can. Um, on the Pound Droppers website, they do also have different different flavors of cheesecake so if you wanted to kind of doctor it up or make a different flavor by all means you can just whisk your eggs up so three eggs we've added and to this you're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract um, I have the clear vanilla extract from Dominican if you have the darker vanilla extract, whatever vanilla extract that you have, by all means just use that. So one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add, um, the recipe calls for three tablespoons of a sweetener, a granulated sweetener because um, it, she says that she finds that it makes the cheesecake a bit gritty if it's not granular. I am using, because I have it, Truvia, which if you haven't tried this sweetener, it is zero points. So I've, and I've checked it up to a few cups. So it's a zero point um, sweetener. So I'm just adding, now her recipe calls for two, um, three tablespoons. I'm only adding um, two because I didn't want that much sugar in it. If you wanted to add just regular granulated sugar, by all means you can, just make sure that you're accounting for your points. So, point wise for this recipe, depending on how big of, or what's, how many slices you get out of it, if you are cutting the cake into eight slices, it's going to be one point for a slice of cheesecake. If you are getting 16 slices it's zero points so this is a very ww point friendly recipe um the next thing i'm going to add is three cups of fat free zero percent plain greek yogurt i use the liberty again it has to be plain and zero percent and that's the whole large tub so the 750 grams so just add that to your eggs And 
And this is giving me the opportunity to use some of my goodies out of my out of my care package from Jane. So normally when I make this, I normally make it with because in Canada we cannot get the jello um, pudding mix that has the cheesecake flavor. Uh, you can get it if you order it online. I'm pretty sure that the um, low carb grocers has it, but I've been trying to find something that is close to home or local and I just can't find it anywhere. Um, it's hard for me, as everybody knows, I'm a budget shopper, to pay more than $2 for a box of pudding. So, let me just get a spoon, be a lot easier for this. Um, so, I usually use what you can use, and it tastes just as good, the Jell-O pudding mix, the sugar-free, uh, um, I'm pretty sure in Canada it says sugar-free. Um, but they are sugar-free and fat-free. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, you can use the vanilla. There's quite a few different ones. There's white chocolate, there's butterscotch, there's quite a few different ones. So just give this a really good mix. And then, so I am using, like I mentioned, Jane has got me a cheesecake flavored fat-free jello pudding so i am mixing in one whole package of this um if you don't have the cheesecake flavor you can use the vanilla if you're doing a plain cheesecake and it works just as fine so just add that powder right to your mix And to find a one point or even zero points, depending on how many slices you're getting out of this cheesecake, I was very happy because normally, I mean, I've been trying to make a recipe with the fat free um, cream cheese and whatnot. And it's just, they still work out to be like six or seven points a slice and it's just I mean it's not a lot when you consider how many points a dessert usually is but I just to be able to find a one point cheesecake I am happy with that and like I said I love my cheesecake so I go with the eight slices because I want a bigger slice so just mix this until you get all the powder incorporated and you don't have any lumps in there Okay, so everything's all mixed and you're just going to put that into your springform pan which I have sprayed with olive oil spray and I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees so I am going to place this in the oven now again I have the nine inch um, if you have a small actually I think mine's nine and a half inches but if you have a smaller springform pan by all means use a smaller one because um, it will just make it a bit thicker. I don't mind having it a little bit thinner. Okay, and I'm just gonna spread it around so it's covering all of the bottom. If you wanted to, because it's so low in points, you could make a bit of a crust bottom with this because, I mean, it's not going to be much points added if you're doing something like uh, even an Oreo crumb or a um, graham cracker crumb crust. So because you're saving points on the actual cheesecake mixture itself, you have the leeway of doing that, right? All right. So there we go, our cheesecake is set. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. So 
you bake it for 30 minutes at 350. Um, it will look like it's not set in the middle, but you take it out and let it cool for 15 to 20 minutes and then you it will actually set. So bake it for 30 minutes at 350 and then I'll be back to show you how it looks. Hey everyone, I'm back. We're shaking. So the cheesecake is done. It bakes for 30 minutes. Um, again, in the oven for at 350. So, um, it. I'll show you what it looks like. So it is a little jiggly still in the middle, but it's golden brown. You can kind of see on the sides it's golden. It's actually a lot, it raised a lot more. You can't really tell in this lighting. But it raised a lot more than the vanilla pudding mix did. So I don't know if it, there's a difference in the US um, pudding mix, but this did raise a lot more. It is starting to actually sink down a little bit. So I don't know, it might actually be the same. But so what you're gonna do, is you're get, now gonna just let it cool for um, 15 minutes. Just let it cool at room temperature for about 15, 20 minutes. Put Cover it in cellophane and then throw it into the fridge and keep it there overnight. Um, it's about eight hours, but overnight it lets it set really good and um, it holds up like a, like a cheesecake and you can actually slice it and take it out. So I will um, be refrigerating this and then I will show you what it looks like and you can top it with so many different things. Fresh fruit, um, whipped cream, ice cream, syrups, anything that you wanna top it with. It's just a plain cheesecake. Again, it's crustless. If you wanted to add a crust, you can make a simple crust because again, it's if you get 16 slices out of it, it's zero points. If you get eight, it's one point. So you have a lot of wiggle room to make a crust with this because it's so low in points. So that's another option that you can do. Again, as I always say, this is my recipe and how I have, how I have pointed it out with what ingredients I'm using. So make sure that if any recipes that I'm doing that you point them out and again, I've made mistakes before on recipes. Look at my, what was it? Was it the taco one? No, the Big Mac one. I pointed out the crust wrong. So if anybody notices that I ever make an error in my pointing, please let me know. I appreciate it. We all learn from it. That's how we learn. So, um, but this is zero points for 16 and one point for eight slices. Make sure that you, in the, um, WW app, create a recipe. So go into your recipe builder and create a recipe with the ingredients that you're using. So if you use anything different than mine, just make sure that your points are right or if you're getting different portions out of it. So just make sure that you're um, calculating everything and making sure that you get the proper points. Another thing I will mention is when you are adding in your recipe builder, the jello pudding, it scans up as one quarter of the package so make sure you're putting that in as four servings because you're using the full serving or the full package so make sure you are putting your full servings in for that as well but i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you do like it please give me a thumbs up if uh, you haven't subscribed please do so and uh, if you wanted to be alerted of any new videos coming out or see more content from me please tap the bell button right beside the subscribe and you will be notified of any new videos that i am putting out as always my handles are at the bottom if you would like to follow me on um, connect my handle is at stitch and lindy and if you would like to follow on my Facebook group to see my journey as I'm going along. And I do also share more stuff on there as well as my videos from this YouTube channel. Check it out at Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a great day.